Okay, hi friends. This is Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see Cloud Hub connector with a mule saw. So basically, what is a Cloud Hub connector? Okay, the Cloud Hub connector is used to okay start, stop, or delete your Cloud Hub application. It is used to get. It is used to send the notification or get the notification related related to your application. Other thing, it also provide various features, various operation. It can provide the list of application with all the details, uh, okay, uh, available in the cloud hub, and it it is possible to update your application, to deploy or undeploy the application. So let we will start with a small demo. So we are will going to explore one or two operation, or let's see. So what I will do. So first you look for the Cloud Hub connector. Okay, for me I already installed the Cloud Hub connector in the Mule Pellet. If it is not available in your Mule Pellet, what you have to do, you have you can go to Search Exchange. I click on the Search Exchange. It will pop up. It will open a pop up window. Okay. It may ask you for the any point platform username and password. For me, I have already saved my username and password. So let me search for the cloud hub. Okay, uh, I cannot see the cloud hub connector. Let me see cloud. Okay, this is the cloud hub connector. For me, install is disabled because it is already installed in my new pilot. Uh, it's in your mule pilot. If it is not installed, click on the install. It will automatically start installing the Cloud Hub connector into your mule pilot. And once installation is complete, it will ask you for the restart to complete the installation. So you can restart your AnyPoint Studio. Okay. So that's it. So let me create one new application file. New mm, mule application. I will say Cloud Hub demo. I will come and I will keep all the setting as the default setting. I will select mule runtime equal to 3.8. I will not going to select any other setting. I will simply say finish. Okay, it has created a new application for us. I will say HTTP. I will look for HTTP listener. So basically, I will drag and drop HTTP component. I will going to configure it. I will go to I will under the connector configuration. I will click on this add button. I will keep all setting as a default. You can change the port depending on your requirement. So for now, I will keep everything default. I will say okay. For path, I can give route. You can give any path depending on your choice. I will say method equals to post. Other thing now, I will going to drag and drop variable. So basically, I was expecting a query parameter. Now, in query parameter, query parameter, I am expecting the application name for which we have to retrieve, uh, for which we have to retrieve any information. So I will say set variable app name. I will going to read the uh, query parameter using message dot inbound property. So I will say message dot inbound property dot I have to read from HTTP query params okay I will say dot app name okay now I will going to drag and drop cloud hub connector so I will going to drag and drop cloud hub connect oh, sorry let me remove I have to go into the message processor region okay so under the connector configuration, I will click on Add. It will me. Uh, I can select the basic authentication. I will say OK. So let me provide my AnyPoint platform username password. I will press on. One minute. I have provided. Okay. I will test the connection. If everything is fine, it will say test connection is successful. 
let's wait till it's testing the connection with the cloud hub okay our connection is successful i will say okay now you have to select the operation so let me uh, log into any point platform also uh, the site is any point platform.mulesoft.com my this application let me start the application just a minute okay that's fine okay so we have a lot of operations like change application status notification status create application delete application deploy application get application okay uh, what are i will say get application so uh, if you let me one minute not get not in again i will say get application so if you want to retrieve the app detail of particular application you can see get application it's for asking for domain so domain is basically suppose i want to i want to get a detail for this particular application okay i will click here okay and this is my domain okay here what i will do i will read the application name flow application from flow vars that we have stored app name okay i will save it i will run my application okay let me uh, pass a query parameter uh, i will say app name equals to to be if you have to remove that uh, app dot cloud up dot io um, let me check the name again it's, it's a big app okay so let me check my application has been deployed now i will going to send a request i will say send okay let me check what is the issue okay it's a get proposed okay sorry i don't know mistake here it should be a get method okay so let me Say get. I will say control because we have to retrieve the information. It should be a get. Now I will send again. Let's wait. Uh, it was connecting to the cloud. Okay, we got the information. See, we got uh, what is the domain. Okay, what is the port? What is the host? Where? What is the region? Okay, so we got all the information about the application. Who is the username? What is the instance size? Everything. Okay. So let me check uh, my application get deployed here. I will we will going to see more operations. Get. Okay. Now if I want to stop the particular application, fine. So what I can do for stop stopping the particular application, you have to go to change the application status. Okay. So currently. What is the status of my application? It is in start state. So what I can do, I can do stop, and I can say save. Okay. So now I will go into send the request. I will say send. Okay, we got a response back. Let me refresh it. See, this is start. It is undeploying now. Okay, so what we have done, we are go, we had undeployed the application or stopped the application from uh, Cloud Hub connector. We will again try to start it. What we will do, we will say start. Okay, let me save it. Let me send. So you will see the status will be in. And let me check. We got a we got a response back. Let me check. See now it start. It the status is changing now. Let me refresh it. Okay, this is how 
you can start and you can stop your application from cloud of connector let me remove this flow variable so if you want to see the list of application okay in your cloud of so you can say list application so let me uh, i will go to console i will say save okay so let me remove my query parameter right is sent okay, we got a response back but it's not in proper format right so what we can do we have to use the object to then you can use object to json object to string anything but in our case we will use object to the json transformer let me save it okay i will send it again now we will get the response in the proper json format see see we have two application so in the cloud of we can verify that the one and two so we got various information what is the instance size what is the mule version everything so it's connected what is the status it's deploying right now it was try to start right so various thing we got see now the application has been started right let me send it again okay see status of one application is deploying and status of one application is started because one application already got started so the information is very much correct okay. so you know like now what is the use of cloud of connector uh, let me show some more functions i will not going to test it but i will show you so if you want to deploy application right you have to deploy and you have to provide the domain okay so once you do that so it will start deploying the application let me create and deploy application if you want to create and deploy application so you can do that and you can select what is the worker size what is the worker count everything whatever okay, okay this is how you can use a cloud of connector with a mule soft thanks for watching video hope you have enjoyed